This year, Only Murders in the Building is focusing on the world of theater, where you have to perform live. Why are you acting like I don't understand that? You have to make a connection with the audience. Give everything you have, every performance. Yeah, I've literally toured the entire world. Yeah, but being on stage, in the spotlight, it's just, it's hard to describe. What the? Oh good, you're back. Welcome to One Killer Question, the only murders in the building after show. I'm your host, Michael Cyril Creighton. Mabel and Tobert kiss by the suspect board, which makes perfect sense because every love interest in this show has been a murderer or a suspect. Jan, Alice, Oscar, Loretta, Joy, Tobert. Is this a coincidence? Can they ever be in a normal relationship? Is the trio in love with murder? Let's see what our guests think. Welcome, Sophia Colpo, Jason VC, and Jay Manuel. Hey. How are you all? <laughs> We're great. great. Fabulous. Great. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I feel underdressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's start. Are our wonderful trio in love with murder? I would have to say there's a definitely a toxic pattern going on here. Yes, right? for sure. Absolutely <laughs> toxic. I'm going to say as it is. Yeah. Yes. We all have it. Theirs happens to be murder. Yeah. Is there a world, though, where, yes, they are passionate about solving a crime, but women maybe they're more in love with is the bonding time that it has for all of them? Do you mean that there's a short amount of time like because these people are going to go to jail? <laughs> It's like it's like in the olden times when you'd marry someone before they went off yeah, to yeah, war. Yeah, it's like you don't now have to break up with them. Fall in love with people before they're found of murder. That's Murders what they're doing. their work and they're sleeping with the murderer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. You know what? I feel like it's murder is somewhat of an aphrodisiac when it comes to these three. Clearly I mean, for Jan. Again, am I overanalyzing it a little bit? And they all walk around with their own set of blinders on, but in different ways. Like if we look at Mabel. I mean, first of all, last season we learned that she has the ability to block things out and she came up with this whole idea of dissociation around her father's death. And I mean, rightly so, that was traumatizing. She was a young girl. But like now she, with Alice, you know, she was a very realistic suspect in Bunny's murder, but she was kind of into that relationship. And then she was flirting with Theo at Coney Island. You know, yeah. so it's like all these yeah. things like so... I feel like she has a way of blocking out, like, these are murderers or potential murderers, and yet, <laughs> look, look at I think, I mean, Keep going. I, I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm getting, like, way too no, deep into it makes this. perfect sense. Like, do we all forget that Theo is a murderer? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. do. He's going to jail for that. Exactly. Theo's so likable, but he pushed her best friend off a roof. Yes. Yeah, it did happen. But did he push her? No, did he, though? Did he push her, though? He may have pushed her friend <laughs> <laughs> off a roof. It's a But can we talk about Taubert for just a moment? He's oh, sketchy. See, see, a little sketchy. He yes. tricked her. I'm telling y'all, those eyes mm. are gonna have you hiding a body. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> you will compromise yourself and your morals with that face. I think, oh, stay yeah, away could, from me. He could get away with murder. <laughs> yes. Stay away. Which makes sense that Mabel is being drawn to him. Oh yeah, they met both going to break into the penthouse. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Casually. when they were at that murder board, that that was sensual. I would say it was yeah. sensual with the string and the kissing, and it was and like even when they were locked in the 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 armoire together. Oh uh, yeah, also, yeah, yeah. It was the same. It was just tension. They're 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 investigating something I, together. Yes, I think getting each other. <laughs> <laughs> so Charles dated Jan. Yes. Murderer. <laughs> yeah. For me, I what I always think of when I see Charles visiting Jan in prison, and he's like slowly getting ro like roped back into her. It's like he's getting aroused for sure. For yes, sure. That's true. We all something's well, happening there. Not but everything. It's like when you t don't tell your best friend, like you're not taking her advice, and he goes back to the crew, and he's like lying about being with Jan. Even he was falling for a murderer, fully knowing because she's in prison, <laughs> what right, she did. Right. Also, she tried to kill him. So that is a real toxic trait. Right yeah. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, of course, yes, yes, yes. exactly. And then he dated and proposed to Joy and then accused her of murder. Right. And yes. then sabotaged that whole relationship. Yeah. The engagement's off. And do you think he sabotaged the relationship because he realized she wasn't a murderer? Ooh. Ooh. See, I, I actually think that's the case. Wow. Yeah, cause, wow. Because he, he, actually, he actually said earlier on, you know, he's not really good with people in his space, in right. his house, right? So when she comes in with the fish, right. first of all, fish. when she came in with the fish, she'd have to go. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, already, it was a lot. And they have 
pretty great chemistry. They do. Yeah. They do. The, uh, what's it called? The aardvark? No, the... Uh, yeah, it was, the, was it the aardvark? But it was a bar bark with like a chimpanzee sound effect. The antelope. The antelope. The antelope. Yeah. That yes. sounded like the a antelope. primate. They have great chemistry and she's so supportive of Charles and has been there from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was able to decide that she was a murderer yes. might have been a way for him to try to decide that he loved her. I love that you say that she's been supportive from the beginning when the first thing she said First time you sat in my chair 30 years ago, I thought you were gonna die alone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So let's define supportive. And now, wonderful sweet Oliver yeah. is now drawn to Loretta, mm -hmm. only to find out that she is also a suspect. Could you imagine finding that book after sleeping with someone? Well, I think Oliver likes the theatricality and the drama of the situation. So I think that's kind of like, oh wow, this is crazy, but like, what a story. True. Like, I can use this somewhere. Yeah. You know, maybe I have a completely different take on this because I feel like she might just be an Uber fan. I feel like it's just too obvious that she really could be a yeah. suspect. Yeah, I you do agree. I don't know. I'm not ruling anybody out, including you. Okay. Including me. You guys probably didn't do it because you're not on the show. <laughs> or but did I'm not we? Ruling anybody out. I think we might live in the building, though. That's true. It's a huge building. <laughs> um, do we think that the trio are capable? of having a normal relationship? Or is this pattern just going to continue and continue and continue? I think they, in order to do that, they might have to move to a building where people don't die every year. <laughs> right, in order to sort of move forward, move forward. have a nice, sweet relationship. Yes, just yeah. go to a regular building where people stay alive. Yeah, while we're here. That you don't talk to. I have a question for you though. Yeah. Okay, so you live in New York. Yes. So now let's just say there was a murder in your building. Would you move out? No, what I, but here's the thing, I would not, but here's the thing. If, if, if every year someone, one of my neighbors keeps dropping like flies, it's time for me to yeah. go. Or fell down say. an elevator shaft. We're, oh yeah. yeah. We're, I'm, I'm bouncing. Ooh. Got it. I'm bouncing. Sophia, Jason, Jay, thank you so much for being here. It's been so fun talking to you and having you on that couch. And on that note, it's time to play One Killer Game. where I play the Tooth Fairy. Here I am, dressed in this outfit that I'm so happy to be in. I am the Tooth Fairy. Okay, guys, we're going to guess what Oliver wished for with that tooth. And I'm going to listen. Okay, so I'm gonna maintain that Oliver is all about work. So it's work, work, work first. Because remember when he was hugging Will in that tender moment, talking about Teddy being his real dad, then the phone call? Yes. And he's like, maybe I shouldn't look. Maybe I should look. Oh, it's a producer. You know what, let me take it, right? Work first. So even though he's with Loretta and it's this whole romantic moment, I think he's thinking about work. So he wished for a Tony Award for his first big musical splash. Absolutely. Similar, I'm going to expand. I think that he truly wishes that the love of his life becomes a star by winning a Tony mm. Award for the show. And oh. is the love of his life himself or Loretta? I think it's Loretta. You're right, it's Loretta. I think, I think it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, hope she's not a murderer. We'll see. I was going to say, I think his wish is that Loretta is not a murderer. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Maybe. That's a good I one. think the three of you perfectly crafted what Oliver would wish for, <laughs> yeah. and I have decided that, granted, granted, I want yeah. Oliver to be happy. I want everybody in this show to be happy. Well, this was real fun and such a dream. Thank you all for being here. And until next time, thanks for watching One Killer Question. May all your wishes come true. Taking this off. <laughs> <laughs>